Back in the 1700s, the British colony of America was a troubled land. First, there was engines fighting engines. My son, you must leave now. The Huron dogs are too many. We cannot win. Father, a Mohican warrior does not run. I will fight until they take my scalp. No, my son. Look, our warriors are falling. We will soon be no more. Father, I go to the land of our ancestors. Now you, my son, are the last of the Mohicans. Huron Dog, you have taken my father. By the Great Spirit, I will avenge his death. Oh, Mohican will die too, just like father. Oh. Send Squawking Mohican to land of ancestors. Hold it right there. I'm an old friend of your pappy's. Sorry I couldn't have got here sooner. Magua, take your men and get. Give your old pappy a decent burial. Now, if that wasn't enough, there was the British fighting the French. Now, the Americans didn't want the French even more than they didn't the British. So they joined in alongside and gave the red folks a helping hand. Hold your fire, men! Don't waste your ammunition. You'll need every musket ball you've got. Captain Washington, is there any word yet from General Webb? We cannot hold out here much longer. Afraid not, Colonel Monroe. None of the engine scouts has come back yet. And there's no word of Major Haywood bringing your daughters here to the fort neither. I feared as much. Those girls come to any harm. I'll deal with the entire French army and their traitorous Indian friends by myself. Come far enough <laughs> one day, ladies. We'll camp here for the night and press on at dawn. Magua, you search the area and make sure we're safe to sleep here without having our throats cut by any of your renegade cousins. Now go and look sharp. Ooh, I don't like the look of him. I don't trust him, Cora, do you? I cannot say I like him much myself, but... Major Haywood chose him personally, didn't he, Major? Uh, well, uh, that's true enough. Uh, but there were so few guides available. I, 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 I did the best I could, Miss Munro. But don't worry, I'll make sure no harm comes of you upon my life. I swear. Brave words indeed, Major Haywood. Let's hope you never have to put them into practice, hmm? Alice, you and I will prepare our beds. And you, Major, will prepare the fire. We've come a long way from Boston, and we're hungry. At your service, Miss Mulrow.
All right, soldier. Do you speak with an English tongue or a French one? Quick now, or I blow your brains out. Don't shoot. I'm English. Well, that's hardly enough of a reason not to shoot a man these days. Besides, plenty of Frenchmen are mighty handy at speaking English, too. What do you say, Uncas? Is the man telling the truth? I swear it! Look! Wait. The Red Jacket speaks with a truthful tongue. Let him live. You, Shalas. I think they're friendly. Who are you? How dare you sneak up like that? And you, Major Haywood, you were meant to be gardeners over your dead body. Well, ma'am, if we'd been anyone else but who we are, that's exactly what he'd have been doing. Lucky we came along. Now, this is my good friend Uncas. As for me, well, my real name is Nathaniel Bumpo. Now, uh, I reckon that's not much of a name, is it? My friends call me Hawkeye. Hawkeye Bumpo, the famous scout! Why, I've heard Colonel Munro speak of you. Colonel Munro? Why, he's an old friend of mine. Well, sir, Mr. Hawkeye, these are his two daughters, Cora and Alice, and we're bound for Fort William Henry to join him. Fort William Henry? Well, now, afraid I got bad news for you on two accounts. First, Fort Henry's under siege by the French General Montcalm. Second, you're heading in the opposite direction. You're loster than a raccoon in a desert, soldier. I knew it. That guide of ours was up to no good. Guide? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Hawkeye, a Huron Indian by the name of Magua. Magua? A murderous dog who speaks with the tongue of a snake. Whoa. We expect him back any moment. Shouldn't we move from here? Dark-eyed woman. You speak with a sense of ten white men. He kind of means yes, Miss Cora. Major, give me a hand with Miss Ellis. Uncas, look after Miss Dark Eyes, will you? my enemy to me. Give me revenge I seek. Give me his scalp. Well, Miss Alice recovered quickly enough, while Uncas and me volunteered to take them all to Fort William Henry, because the countryside was full of Indians fighting for the French, including that varmint Magua. Would you like to share my horse, Mr. Runkus? No. A Mohican warrior does not share a horse with a woman. It is better to walk. Mohican? I thought all the Mohicans were gone. No. I am the last of the true Mohicans. After me, my people will be no more. You have no wife? No squaw, no papoose. No family at all? No. The Huron dog Magua sent my father to the land of our ancestors. Hawkeye was his friend. I'll go ahead and have a look seeing them woods. Hayward, you and Uncas keep an eye on the girls till I get back. Like a dog. 
And you, pale-faced squalls, daughters of man who hides like coward in fort, you will become slaves of great Magua. <gasps> and you, pale-faced soldier, you too die. Oh. Huh. Now, Mohican dog, you die. Not yet he don't, Magua. Now, cut the prisoners free, or I'll drill you full of musket balls. Now, if you'll excuse us, Magua, me and my friends will take our leave. More boom boom! It makes like the beautiful music to my ears. Très bon! Now, darling Josephine, where were we? <laughs> We can't hold out much longer, sir. Ammunition's almost gone. We're not beaten yet, Captain Washington. If we can hold out till General Webb arrives. We'll send those froggies clear back to Paris. Still no word, Colonel. Nor is there word of Haywood and your daughters. Ah, uh, oh man. What's become of them? I was foolish even to consider the idea of bringing them from Scotland. They're in more danger here than if they'd stayed away. Have you considered a surrender, sir? It would save a lot of lives. Surrender? Are you mad, man? I'd rather die at the post than be taken by that French puffball monk car. <laughs> trail, Hawkeye. There is much danger. I kind of think you're right, Uncas. You made your Heward. Know much about bars? 
Thank not, Mr. Hawkeye. Uh, not a thing, actually. Well, when a bar finds things is getting too much for him, he just finds a cave and disappears for a while. So that's what we're going to do. Come on. Yes, very bad, Hawkeye. Magua has many warriors. Yeah, and this time they got guns, too. Got any ideas, Uncas? One idea. Well? Hide. Hmm. Prayer stop here. Mohican dog and pale face cannot fly like eagle. Must be they hide like bear. Mr. Hawkeye, they're bound to find us here. What are we going to do? Uncas, go down the back of the cave and see what you can see. Come, quickly. Uh, oh, there's no room, Hawkeye. Well, what you going to do? Uncas and me will try and make it to Fort William Henry and bring some help. Major Hayward will look after you till then. Be careful, Uncas, I... Talk too much. Just one question, Hawkeye. How do we get to the fort? Why, Uncas, that's easy. We fly like an eagle. Hmm? Ancestors and take scalps with them. But without pale face squaws and pale face soldier. <laughs> it's so dark in here. I'm so frightened, Cora. Huge, Alice. We must be brave and wait. White dogs. No escape. Hawkeye, there is no time to go to the fort to get Colonel Munro. But I have a friend close by. Come. Tamanund, son of the Great Spirit, and friend of my father who has gone to our ancestors. The Huron dogs have made prisoners of my paleface friends. Uh, Tamanund, chief of Delaware Nation, is friend of all Indian brothers, but not of paleface. Tamanund will not save paleface friends. Oh, great chief. Do you remember my father? Chingachgook. Uh, Mohican Chingachgook saved my life. I would not forget. Wise Tamanund, before he died, my father told me of the promise you made to him. Hmm. You speak truth, son of my friend. Tamanund has great debt to repay. What will you ask of me? 
I will take ten Delaware braves, O oh wise Tamanund, to free my friends. I promise that none will die, not even the Huron dogs. You pledge that? On the spirit of my father, I pledge that. <laughs> Where are you taking us, ye animal? Huh. Pale face squaw speak with tongue of scorpion, just like Indian squaw. Magua takes you to Huron camp, make you Huron slave. Make two Huron slaves. <gasps> Over my dead body, ye filthy beast. Never. And over my dead body, too, you bounder! Easy fix, pale faced dog. Ha ha ha! Don't worry, Alice. Hawkeye and your father will rescue us soon. I wouldn't have been so sure, Major. No one could survive a jump like that. Silence! Or Magua will feed white tongues to buzzards! Oh, Uncas, Hawkeye, oh, you're alive. Oh, thank goodness. Mr. Hawkeye, I never thought I'd see you again. I can't tell you how pleased we are. They were going to make us slaves and cut out our tongues and, and kill Major Hayward and... There, there, my sweet Alice. We're safe now. It's all right. You have brought great shame to our noble Indian people. Only by my promise to the wise chief Tamanund do you now live. Rise and go. My eyes never wish to see your face again. Mohican dog is traitor to Indian nation. I swear to great spirit that next time we meet, we fight to the death. I don't like it a bit, Captain. Tell my men to watch carefully. It'll be just like the Froggy General to use the fog as a cover for an attack. Aye, Colonel Munro. Mind you, laddie. Uh, I wouldn't have blamed him if I did. It's the sort of thing I'd do myself. Mmm, I don't like it. English pea soup fog. French onion? That would be another matter. Tell the men to be very careful. The British might attack us in the fog. Mais oui, mon général. I will be in my tent making the grand strategy if you need me, Capitan. Ah, ma chérie. Oh, I have missed you. <laughs> play, you fool, play! Noise sound like angry squaw. Sounds more like a sick polecat to me. Actually, it's a gypsy violin playing a Hungarian mazurka. Very popular in France these days. Where's it coming from, Uncas? I can't tell in this fog. Hmm. Ah, that means the fort must be that away. We should make it if this fog holds.
Here. You hear something, Elf? <gasps> You're right. There's something out there. What is it? Christ! It's the bleeding froggies! Darn! Double pain! Get down, everyone! I think there's a war going on. Ah, my sweet, sweet cabbage. I salute you. Sacre bleu! Ah! The British have attacked! Anywhere. It's Alice. Hold your fire, man. Washington, open the gate, man. Father, oh, Father, I thought I'd never see you again. Alice, my dear child. Ah, Cora, I'm glad you're safe. Well, Hawkeye, I can see you've done me a great turn. I'm much obliged to you. That weren't nothing, Colonel Monroe. You can thank Uncas and Major Hayward here for most of it. Aye, well, I'm grateful to you all. It's a heavy responsibility I carry since the girl's poor mother died. Now, why don't we go to my quarters, where you can tell me all about your adventures. Take over, Washington, will you? Okay, Colonel. Incredible! One moment they are here attacking us, next moment, poof, they are gone! Monsieur le Général, we have captured this from a British scout. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ah -ah. Captain, put up the white flag for a truce. I have very important news for Colonel Munro. Aha! After we left the others, we made it here to Fort William Henry in the fog. You know the rest. Well, you're all lucky to be alive. Sorry to break in, sir, but the French have just raised the truce flag. They want to parley with you. A truce flag? <laughs> Maybe they want to surrender? All right, Washington. Run up our flag to tell the French general I'll meet him halfway. Well, now, General, let's not beat about the bush. What do you want? What I want, Monsieur le Colonel, is for you to surrender. You cannot possibly hold out now. We have captured a British scout bringing this letter to you from General Webb. He won't come. What does he mean, he won't come? Perhaps, unlike you, he realizes the situation here is hopeless. Now do you surrender, Colonel Monroe? Never. Not in a thousand years, never. We'll fight to the last man. Such a pity. Such a waste. Colonel Monroe, I have an offer before we start shooting at each other again. My scouts inform me you have many wounded soldiers and some ladies. I will permit them to live safely. I give my word as a gentleman. That's very honorable of you, General. I accept. Thank you. I'm sorry, gentlemen. 
I can't allow you to leave under the terms of the truce. But you can go tonight, under cover. The girls will be safe enough till then. Major Hayward, you'll stay to defend the fort. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, girl. Take care of Alice for me. Goodbye, Papa. Oh, Papa. Don't worry, Alice. The men will be with us by dawn tomorrow, I promise. Well, what about Papa? Papa will be all right, God willing. Chief of Hurons, now you become slave. Oh. Oh. Put me down, you animal. Oh. <laughs> Pale face whore like she cat. Mingo, all warriors, we return to home of Huron tribe. You never see Pale Face Father again. Well, gentlemen. You're free to leave. The truce has now expired. The sooner you go, the better. Washington, the French are awfully quiet. Do our scouts have anything to report? They're not back yet, sir. I'll go and check. Men, it may be that we'll never see each other again. Our situation here is desperate. We're almost out of ammunition. Well, maybe me and Uncas can come back once we get Cora and Alice safely to Boston. Aye, perhaps she can. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. It's the girls. I can't explain. But I'm terribly afraid for them. You must go, and quick. Begging your pardon, sir, but we just got word that we've nothing to fear from the French tonight. Seems like they're carrying on the truce till the morning. Then we might live another night, Washington. Keep the men on watch. It could be a trick. Good luck, men. The fine pair of friends. And if anything happens, tell the girls. No father loved them more than me. Now, go. <laughs> Sir Josephine, am I not a clever man, no? <laughs> oh. First, I extend the truce until tomorrow morning without telling the British. That means they sit up all night getting tired, waiting for my attacks. Oh, good elf. I could sleep for a month. Here, elf. <laughs> Then I order my men to have a good night's sleep. And then I ask you for dinner. Voila! The perfect, brilliant military strategy. <laughs> then... <laughs> oh, Josephine. <laughs> <laughs> No, it is the voice of an Englishman. Come quickly, Hawkeye. I think we have bad news. Oh, Hawkeye. Uncas. It's okay, soldier. You're with friends. Now, what happened? Uh, Huron attack. Magua. The others are all dead. And the pale-faced girls? Prisoners. Gone to the Huron camp. Looks like you're right, Uncas. We gotta move. Soldier, you willing enough to ride? 
Uh, I think so. Good. You can take my horse and get back to Fort Henry. Let him know what happened. Good luck, soldier. Come on, Uncas. Let's go. Now, pale face squaws, you are Huron slaves. Ha! You'll pay for this one day, you savage. My sister and I have done nothing to you. Silence, pale face sea dog! You and sister are friend of Mohican traitor. That is why you become slave. Now, you work! Capitan, let the boom booms begin! Is it, Colonel Munro? They're about to hit us with everything they've got. Aye, Captain Washington, thank ye. Men, prepare to return fire! But, Colonel... No, Captain, I know what you're thinking. But I'll not surrender. We'll fight for the last musket ball, for the last man. Fire! More boom-booms, more! Sorry, Colonel Monroe, sir, but it was what I was trying to tell you. We're out of ammunition. Cluck, cluck, cluck. We have won! We have won! History is mine! Mine! I'm sorry, Colonel Monroe, but enough lives have been lost. I'm going to order my American troops to surrender. We may need to fight another day. Aye, perhaps you're right, Washington. Next time, could be we'll be on opposite sides. Signal our surrender to the French. Now, Colonel, just sign the surrender at the bottom. Then we can go back to my tent for a nice little chat. One day, General. We'll meet on equal terms, and the boot will be on the other foot. General! General! A wounded British soldier is approaching! That's one of the men who went with Cora and Alice. I do not like the look of this. I'm sorry, sir, but the Hurons attacked. The girls are prisoners. The others are dead. So much for French honor. You promised the safety, General. Colonel, I must apologize. I had no idea this thing has happened. No idea. Capitan, prepare the men's. Colonel and Major, you will come with me and see with your own eyes that I keep my word. They'll be here soon. And this heat. I feel like I'm dying. Oh, Cora. There, dear Alice. We must be strong. We must not give up. Very bad heat, Chief Magua. Corn is dying. Water almost gone. Maybe pale face squaws bring bad luck to Huron tribe. Oh. 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 
Answer is easy. We will call for Great Spirit to give us much rain. Look, Chief Magua. Great Spirit has sent me to Huron people to bring rain. My name is Thundercloud. Now I make big rain. Who was that? Cora, Alice, it's me. Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Shh. Me and Uncas come to get you. I'll be back in a little while. Keep telling you, Magua. Not yet, he don't. Uh, this time, pale face wrong. Look! If you shoot Magua, pale face squaws die. <laughs> now you join Mohican Dog in land of ancestors. Great Spirit has smiled on Huron people. Prepare for celebration! <laughs> Last time you look on face of Mohican dog! Uncas. I... Hush! Do not speak, Cora. He's right, Cora. This is the engine way. Allows a man to die with dignity. Prisoners speak too much. Light fires! Wait! Who? Oh. Oh. Ah, Magua, chief of Hurons. My heart is heavy when Indian brothers make much war with each other instead of paleface. But wise, Tamanund. Mohican Dog has made much bad blood between us. And he is friend of Pale Face Nation. Ah, uh, is not possible to have peace between you, my Indian brothers. No, Chief Tamanund. Magua is right. There is too much bad blood. The Mohicans will never make peace with Hurons. They're right, Tamanund. But I got me an idea. Now, the last time these two met, Magua here made a promise that next time they'd fight to the death. This true, Chief Magua? It is true. Mm, very bad to break word, Magua. Well then, Chief Tamanund, why don't you let them fight fair and square? I am unhappy to say but Paleface is right. Fight to death! <laughs>
leave at once. My apologies, ladies. I came just as soon as I could. Now my men will escort you safely. I am a man of my word. Thank you, General Montcalm. Do you have news of our father? And Major Hayward? May we, oui, mademoiselle. Voila! Father! Oh, father, you see? And you too, Major Hayward? Oh, thank God! Yes, Alice, my dear. General Montcalm stormed the fort the day after you left. Aye, he took us prisoners. When he heard of what happened to you, he permitted us to come with him. I hate to admit it, but he's a fine soldier and an honorable man. Very good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, come, we go. <laughs> with respect, General, an American like me don't need no French and British soldiers holding his hand. I too will stay. These lands are my home and the home of my ancestors. Goodbye, dear Hawkeye. Uncas. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Goodbye, Cora. Colonel Munro. Alice, I'm sure you and Major Hayward will both be happy. Goodbye, the pair of you. I won't forget. Come, come. Au revoir, monsieur. Maybe it's time we all made a little peace with one another. One day, there'll be no French and no British. Just us. And we're all gonna have to get along. My friend Hawkeye is right. We cannot be free in this land until we make peace. It is good. Uncas, last of the Mohicans. You must stay here with your Indian brothers and cleanse the bad blood between you. By the great spirit, O oh wise Tamanund, it will be done. And you, pale face warrior, Tell your people they must treat my people with respect. Only then can we talk as equals, one nation to another. I'll try, Tamanund. It may not be easy. Goodbye, Uncas, my Mohican son. Our paths will cross again. <laughs>